Flip Gordon ready to go one on one with JT Dunn. Who's it going to be? There are so many different ways this could go. But the last time. There's one fan who loves Flip Gordon. JT Dunn, not impressed. But even though they've shared the ring many times here at Northeast Wrestling, it was only once in one-on-one -on -one competition. That was at, believe it or not, the future is now one year ago. And the rematch coming here with different stakes. So JT Dunn, I know, he has never forgotten a loss in his life. Always looking to try to figure out some way to get some sort of payback, whether it's by defeating his opponent or simply hurting his opponent. Sometimes he can't tell which one he prefers. Flip likes to show off from time to time. He is a premier level athlete, so not surprised that he likes to show that off. If I had an ounce of athleticism, I would show it off too, but I do not. That is why I'm here at the broadcast booth. I don't think JT Dunn is going to challenge him on that one. But as slippery and slimy as JT Dunn is from time to time, it's like he's gained the respect of the crowd here at Bethany with his performances over the years. And I can't say I blame him completely. As Flip Gordon, standing side headlock. JT Dunn going to reverse it. Going into that standing wrist lock. Reversal by Gordon. Reversal by Dunn, able to break that grip. And I think Flip Gordon a little surprised. Maybe even impressed. Back to the center of the ring. On an even ground here. Another collar and elbow tie-up in the center of the ring. Clean break. I always wonder when JT Dunn's gonna throw in that little cheap shot. Believe it or not, he is known to do that from time to time. Oh, Dunn saw that coming and there goes the knee of Flip Gordon. And now JT Dunn off the top rope with the double stomp to the lower back. And in one fell swoop, taking away that high flying base of both the leg and the lower back. If you wanna be as successful as Flip is in the air, you need both of those functioning at a high level. And that is why JT Dunn is so crafty. That is why he has the respect of a lot of the fans here at the NEW Arena. It's because he is so good. Knee to the side of the leg. And now Flip Gordon in a heap of pain, JT Dunn, throwing his hands up like, oh shucks. He knows exactly what he's doing. Elbow to the top of that shoulder. And I mean, say what you want about Dunn. I've said about 10 different things here. But when he is in the pocket, when he has that advantage, he is very cool under pressure, knowing exactly which direction to go in as Flip Gordon continues to fight here. Makes the cover, knowing he's not gonna get the three count on that, but instead trying to make Gordon exhaust himself Anytime you're on the ground taking damage, 
every single second of trying to fight back, having to kick out. That is going to exhaust your gas tank very quickly. And Dunn knows that. He's been on the receiving end of it. So he is doing to Flip what Flip would do to him. As there is an Enzigiri, he caught him. And that might have been a flash knockout the way that Dunn went stiff there, but now Flip Gordon has a little bit of breathing room, but can he do anything with it? That's the real question here. There's a clothesline. Back elbow. And two. The spring blade, he calls it. The springboard into the slim blade. And now Dunn is the one who is rattled. Running European uppercut. Springs up in that knee. I mean, he's favoring it now. He was able to use his momentum to get up there, but he might have more done more harm than good. Incoming Flip Gordon up and over to the floor. An insane risk, an insane athletic maneuver, and a big time payoff for Flip Gordon as he's able to connect on Dunn on the floor. And he's going right back after it. He knows he needs to move in a hurry here. With a match against Takeshita on the line, can Flip Gordon get it done? Into the swinging DDT, Dunn is on Dream Street. And I have no idea how he was able to kick out of that. I have absolutely no idea. I'm stunned. I cannot believe after especially so much pork rotation and coming from that angle from the top rope down on that swinging DDT, how Dunn was able to recover so quickly or at least get the shoulder up. And now Gordon still favoring that leg. Dunn has a fighting chance if he can get up, but Flip Gordon making sure that Dunn stays down or at least trying his best. But this might be a mistake by Gordon instead of going right after Dunn. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was the plan all along. As you want to talk about trying to take away someone's breath. That's definitely one way to do it. Back and forth they go with shots. Trading toe-to-toe -to -toe on their feet. There's the forearm. Gordon answering with one of his own. There is done with the boot. Gordon caught him on the money with that super kick. But he knew Dunn was gonna follow. Got that back elbow. Almost slipped with that knee and got caught in the cutter. But Gordon gets the shoulder up at a count of two. Somehow, Gordon able to get that shoulder up at two. And I think that knee might have been very costly because he did not get up to that top rope and push himself forward in a fluid motion. And that centimeter, that fraction of a second almost cost him everything with a match against Takeshita on the line. This crowd chanting death by elbow. Gordon maybe with something else in mind. Gets 
sets the boot up. Off the second, gonna try that destroyer, but Flip Gordon able to catch it. Favoring that knee, but the other one works. Dunn is down, but Gordon trying to get some blood flowing back through that knee. Instead of making the cover, maybe believing that he has to take yet another big risk to put this match away. Dunn able to catch him on that top rope. And now Dunn going to try that superplex. Now Flip able to fight it off. Oh, a couple of headbutts from the top. Absolutely gruesome from Gordon. Oh, that knee. Yeah, he just caused even more damage to that knee by trying to spin forward into that power bomb. Has him up in the rack. As he is limping here, gonna try to spin around, but how, how much force can he get on it? Not enough. Count of two. Back up to his feet somehow. And look at that pain etched in his face. He is writhing here. Gonna try that flip five. Conneman now going to go back up top. He is going all the way up. Can he hit it? Lands and tries to roll through again, favoring that knee. Here comes Dunn, tries that cutter. No. Uses a knee to put Dunn down. But Dunn's not on his back quite yet. Can't make the cover. Springboard, oh, death by elbow to the back of the head. German suplex, back to his feet. Into a Spanish fly somehow. Unbelievable effort from Dunn and Flip Gordon, both knowing that a match with Takeshita, a very high profile match, is at stake here, as neither are able to put the other away quite yet, here at The Future Is Now. Both men stirring. Going to meet in the center of the ring. There's a big shot. Going back and forth. Who's gonna break first? That is what this one is coming down to. Leaving it all out on the line. And they're exhausted, absolutely exhausted here. Double Krokop high kick, both competitors down yet again. Here at the NEW Arena. Double clothesline. And this is the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Neither can seem to get the edge on the other. Back to their feet. Don caught 
Adams sits out with it, but he cannot make the cover because he is absolutely exhausted just like Gordon is. The future is now. JT Dunn flipped Gordon. A match against Takeshita on the line here in Bethany at the NEW Arena. Both have been charging straight forward, neither able to get past the other. Who is finally going to be able to get the victory here? JT Dunn stalking, flip in the corner. Putting Flip Gordon on that top rope, is this a wise position? If Flip is able to reverse anything, he's in a prime, high-flying spot, so a big risk here on the part of JT Dunn. Back elbows by Gordon. And there it is. There it is, Gordon, in a prime spot. Can he pull through? Missed on the moonsault, landed on his feet, and his knee is rocked again, but he was able to spin through on that one. There's a super kick and a death by elbow to the back of the head. Is that it? Dunn picks up the win here at the NEW Arena. What an effort by both competitors. But in the end, it is JT Dunn who is on to face Takeshita here at NEW.